T minus one minute, mark. Forty seconds until liftoff. T minus thirty seconds. Mark. T minus ten. Five. Four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition. Main engine start. And we have liftoff at seven carries for the NG-60 mission, the Wallace Flight Facility. Engines at 100%. Attitude nominal. The SS Ellison Onizuka now on its way to the International Space Station to deliver more than 8,200 pounds of cargo. Good first stage performance so far. EV and power subsystems are nominal. NG-16 are nominal. Engines at 100%. Duration of stage one burn is approximately 3 minutes and 18 seconds. Currently at 65 seconds. Passing through 40,000 feet, passing max Q. First stage now passing through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Again, this first stage will burn for about 3 minutes and 18 seconds until main engine cutoff. All subsystems continue to perform as expected. Passing 70,000 feet. Mission time, plus 110 seconds. Engines continue at 100%. Core pressure is nominal. All vehicle subsystems nominal. Passing 120,000 feet. Two minutes, 20 seconds into flight, everything still proceeding nominal. One more minute. Attitude nominal, all G and C performance as expected. And Terry's performance continues nominal. Throttle down to 80%. Throttling down three minutes into flight, main engine cutoff coming soon. Throttle down to 55%. All systems nominal. Stage one, Miko. We have main engine cutoff and Terry's entering into a co-stage, standing by for stage one separation. Then stage two ignition. Stage one separation confirmed. And Terry's is in coast phase, attitude nominal. Fairing separation. In Fairing separation confirmed. Engine 
and we have stage two ignition. Stage two will burn for roughly two minutes and 30 seconds. All systems continue nominal. Stage two ignition is confirmed. Stage two is that solid rocket fuel that will burn for about two minutes and 45 seconds. Burnout will come at six minutes and 52 seconds into the flight today. And as we lose sight of the vehicle, we're now switching to animation. 4.5 kilometers per second, altitude approaching 140 kilometers. Now five minutes into flight, everything proceeding smoothly. Stage two burn continues, all systems nominal approaching 150 kilometers in altitude. Stage two, uh, all systems are nominal. Approximately one minute to stage two burnout. Altitude 170 kilometers. All systems continue to perform as expected. Approximately 30 seconds to stage two burnout. Stage two burnout. All systems nominal. And stage two burnout is confirmed. The will coast for approximately two minutes till spacecraft separation. And Teres is in orbit. Altitude nearly 180 kilometers. Attitude nominal. Attitude nominal, and Terry's continues to orient and prepare for spacecraft separation in a little more than one minute. All subsystems nominal. Altitude, 179 kilometers. Roughly 30 seconds to spacecraft separation. Standing by for spacecraft separation. Attitude nominal. And we have spacecraft separation. Go Cygnus. 
Spacecraft separation confirmed and Cygnus has separated from the second stage. And Northrop Grumman teams now celebrating the confirmation of spacecraft, spacecraft separation. We'll see with that. Flyout calls are completed. Copy that, uh, ACE. Okay, launch team, uh, let's uh, maintain uh, protocol on station here. We're in our post-launch checklist. Uh, Prop 1's already given us a step 444, pulse purging is in progress. And GNC-1, I'll wait for your call on uh, status for step 445, state vector. LCG.